Good morning, everybody, and bar 31 degrees. So it is zero Celsius, finally. And finally, the Fort Jordan has shipped. Oh my goodness gracious. I want to walk out here real quick. I want to feel this. It's crazy because if there's wind, it'll, it'll be really brisk. You know, this tree is slowly going. Oh, if we get up high enough, we can get Mr. Moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. How you doing there, buddy? All right. Let's just pull back a little bit further, though, because these trees are finally going back in our backyard. We can stay in green for so long. 20 after 7. I just got up. I had, well, I've been awake multiple times with cats laying on my chest. Finally got up around 2 o'clock and gave them food because they would not leave me the freak alone. I had to get up and go potty again. Drinking too much water and coffee last night. Oh, back's a little sore this morning, though. Closing shift tonight, so I'm pretty sure I'm 1 to 8.30. So, uh, Verizon is finally paid, at least last month. <laughs> and my next month's bill is, I think, I think the phone is on that one. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, really, because it's, like, way higher than I think he told me it was going to be. But I did make changes to get it cut down quite a bit more yet, so... Oh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun times. Yeah, it's brisk out here. It's definitely invigorating. All right, I finish up editing. Uh, anybody watch follows my Instagram. If you don't, uh, check out my Instagram, Kurt Warnash, because I did over 300 photos last night of Atlas. I started off at the veterinarian office, but then was concerned that they were going to call the police on me because they were still there for some reason. I don't know why, because it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I took photos for over an hour, and Duke Goofy me. Um, I haven't played around too much with the night photo on this phone, and I did not have it in max settings, so I was only getting like five second shots, which in reality I think worked out if they would have been thirty second shots. I don't know if I would have got it would have been clearer, but I don't know if I would have gotten as much movement as I did. I got a lot of movement, so I put it together as in point five as a movie in Final Cut. Um, I didn't download Star Tracker um, to edit it yet, but the Fort Jordan has shipped. Um, I don't know when the uh, Luma. I figured it out last night what it was called. Now I can't remember again. Luma Laps. Luma Laps is shipping, so hopefully that comes soon. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna play around with that and have some fun. So basically, it'll just set the camera off by itself. I want to sit there with my watch, tapping the button every five seconds. But that remote shutter came in very handy. Alrighty, little man just got up. Looks like everybody's getting awake. Walk back and forth, walk back and forth. Hey, he's not gonna take too long this morning. <laughs> 31 degrees, he's not gonna wait around much. Good boy. Oh my goodness, you really had to go, squirrel. Where'd he go? They play in these trees something fierce. where he went though what are you doing huh what are you not getting up for what are you not getting up for puppy oh you want to do belly rubs because it's too cold dad it's too cold father i want you to snuggle in bed where it's warm get up baby you do were or good morning princess oh can you get up and have some breakfast? Hmm? Kale's going. Can you get some breakfast? No? I think you should. All right. Finally getting out for puppy walks here. It is 10, 20 minutes of 10. Still letting the video render. It is edited finally. So we have an absolutely gorgeous morning here. It is currently 42 degrees, 5 degrees Celsius. So the whole widget thing, uh, yeah, it's nice, except it doesn't auto-update. So I still have to open the app to get it to update. But it gives me a quick click, I guess. I don't know. I'll just use the Weather Channel one, because that one's, like, on auto-update constantly. So that's what we figured. We had to do boom-booms, because he didn't give me any grief about going outside. <laughs> Behind the chair, I got down on my hands and knees and just reached in and 
loved him up real quick and away we went we'll see if he doesn't do a second one Ooh, hair is brisk cutting my hair was uh, I knew it was a little bit of a risk because <laughs> the sides are getting pretty cold feels like I'm in the uh, in the cooler right now because it's about temperature the cooler is 42 degrees so oh yeah unfortunately most of the leaves are now on the ground this tree's got a few but these ones down here yep most of them are bare now i don't know about that one in the back though that one back there is finally starting to switch yeah so uh we took a nice little ride um <clears throat> what i was trying to show you uh we went up that one back road ish back road that was the house that we owned when we moved to pennsylvania the big one um i'll refer to it as the big house sat on 48 acres uh had one two three what was it five bedrooms six and a half baths something like that yeah it was insane had an elevator a library and a vault and i mean a vault it was a room in itself big ass freaking doors on it uh, i'd love to go be able to go back through that house but uh, that house has had a lot of uh, bad omens for the male owners of it. <clears throat> They've all died in really mysterious ways. The most current, the wife still lives there. She's a doctor in Waynesport. I probably mentioned this many times in the vlogs, but they were out skiing with their boat. He went to get back up on the boat. The prop never stopped, cut his leg, and basically he bled out on the boat. So she just got rid of it. Now, yeah, Mr. Tree is... 90% bear. So, oh yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad my my atlas thing worked out pretty good last night. I might. I know right where to stand. I did not end up. I did it. Tried the vet. Like I said, police can't. Well, I didn't think. I thought maybe they might call the police on me. But I didn't really feel like I had the best shot there. So I backed up. I can kind of show you this morning where I was to get up and above. Now that I have the 30 seconds. It would be, what, one-fifth of the photos um, if I did it for an hour. So I might try it one more time to get just a little bit clearer shot because we're getting to the end. It is the 25th. So I had to do some, some magic with money this morning. In fact, I've got $8 in my, from my piggy bank. We're $5 short. <laughs> Once uh, sell money comes through and... Tim did pay off the uh, action four. Wish I had more money coming in, but uh, yeah, my, these checks are, I, I, I don't, November 12th through December 5th, I can enroll in insurance. I'm not gonna be able to. I, I just, there's just, there isn't enough money coming in to, to pay for insurance. The checks are just not enough. I mean, we're, we're looking like almost $200 short and that was with an $86 payment on a loan and um, come on, we're not done. Uh, you know, insurance and all that stuff on my Walmart checks. That's pretty sad. So basically I was standing like right on this high spot and shooting over this way. So I was kind of, I was over all this and with the 5X zoom, I was missing the trees and everything. Now, well, we might give Atlas one more shot, try to get a little clearer. Come on, come on. I don't know what you're stopping for, little man. And then our goofy looking tree. Still looking pretty though. I'm enjoying it. I like it. All right. Yeah, you're all excited that we turned around, but you're not done. We're going, we're going to do as much of this lap as we can. I see Archie is home. So I cannot say enough about these guys. I don't know if you can read the name on there, but on Amazon, if you are someone that goes outdoors and takes walks and stuff, it is, it's better than having those little breakaway heat packs you buy at like Walmart and stuff. These work out really nice because they're rechargeable. I don't know why, but we have people that just like park on this road. They do it constantly and they just sit there. That's why I'm kind of holding it in my left hand right now facing away so I'm not catching him in the shot. Again, I believe in people's privacy. So even though some people don't believe that, I do. <laughs> now, if we're out on a major outing, I'm sorry, but you're, <laughs> you're fair game. I don't, you know, intentionally try to film people. I'll try to film their dogs, maybe. I did catch some puppies on the uh, trip. I still got to try to figure out how to get that 
photo montage put together because I think that'd be a neat little video. Okay, now the sun's hitting the wrong side. Oh, I'll just go this way, but we're far enough away now. Oh. But I pulled out the, I'm like, okay, which camera do I want to use this morning? I'm like, I'm pulling out the Action 5. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of taking over the videos here. But Tim's, Tim's all excited. The doors have not shipped yet. They're supposed to be here, I think, between the 30th and early November. They're, unfortunately, even though I was like, I, I was trying to do U.S. sellers, but that's how I saved the money. I got them out of China. They're supposed to be original doors off of cameras that were broken. So they're saving parts off of ones that don't work anymore. Now Tim's going to went ahead and he's ordered the small rig cage. So when we get to hang out with him after that all stuff arrives, which will be after this Saturday's adventure, adventure which will be the uh, world, uh, the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. Now we did the, the dogs and I did the turkey path, but when, we were, when Terry and I went up, there was another trail that went down. So we're gonna do the left side. We might be, we might be able to do both. We shall see. We might try to do both. Um, and uh, have a nice little, nice little walk. Let Tim play again with, with the Action 4, and he'll actually be taking ownership of it this time around. And then I will be without a door because that's not fair. I'm going to give him the camera and hole. I gotta make sure I have all the little threaded things for him. The mounting, I know I have more mounting plates and stuff. Sorry, my ADD is kicking in with my pretty tree. Uh, and this guy here, he still has some leaves. He changed really, really late. And then, like I said, they went more to a yellow. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if we're going to see any any fallish colors up there or not. <clears throat> Honestly, I think I need to set this back up in the car and see how this performs. Uh, I got to get my windshield cleaned so bad. Even this one here I find unique. It's a neat shot. All right. What do you think, little dog? Boy, it's crazy pulling out the TX30 and seeing what I was talking about with the lighting change and the blowout and all that, go, that really kind of exaggerated it since that camera is, I think 2012, the TX30 came out. So it's 12 years old. It's insane to see what these cameras are capable of doing now with lighting and whatnot. So these trees are lit up right now because of the sun hitting them. Getting underneath these ones, it doesn't seem like I get such a good shot. So I'm going to stay back a little bit. Normally I kind of go around the playground the other way. You know, I don't know. Yeah, see, there's where I would need to shoot, this pine tree is in my way. For Atlas. I mean, if I could get through that gap right here. Come here, buddy. Come here. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah, I think I'd still have too much interference if I stood right here. But I also am concerned because yeah, right about there is the spot, but you got all this, even on the 5X. Well, hello, Mr. Moon. What are you still doing up? Go to bed, you silly moon. Because um, I'm pretty sure those bears came down the road and literally went up through here. They might have gone into the other property, but they went up into the, the thicker woods back in there. We have not seen them since. So, all right. <laughs> Ooh, that's a kind of that's a really pretty angle. Gotta quit saying kinda. Drives me nuts. Try to get around this because it lit up from the backside. It's really neat. I totally wore the wrong shoes for coming up through here in the grass because now my feet are wet and cold. That was a goofy me. Now, this is holding up pretty good since I trimmed it. You can still get through here full width. Well, I remember back in the day with the uh, shift cam and it was, it was always knocking down cobwebs coming through there in the summertime. I think most arachnids probably aren't out when it starts freezing like it did last night. It's uh, 
but we're supposed to get another warm up now. It's supposed to go back up into like the mid 70s coming up in the next week. This weather just cannot make its mind up this year. We have this bipolar Pennsylvania weather. I'm guessing a lot of places have it. We just, you know, I live here, so it's my state that I noticed. <laughs> oh, alrighty, round two. Got the bassy bass. She didn't want to get up this morning, then she finally did. And she didn't really want to eat, but she had a couple bites. I don't know. I don't think she really likes the new pouch food Terry got for her. She really sticks her nose up at it. Very fussy with food. Yeah, leaves. Look at the piles of leaves. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on, Sniffy Sniff. Anyway, gave Mr. Tim a call because he's still not sleeping. He said he slept from like 4 to 9 and then he can't get back to sleep. So, gave him a quick ring. Hopefully that puts him back to sleep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so just got done thinking. I work until 8.30. Atlas, I mean, it'll still be in the air, but yeah, unfortunately, 30 second shots tonight, not going to happen. I wasn't even thinking about me. Yeah, I'm closing, but yeah, I get home too late to do it. So, I mean, it might still be up there, but probably going to be pretty whipped from work. And who knows if I'm actually going to get out of there right on time tonight like we did last time. Um, was, you know, being a Friday night could be a little busier. But I can do everything in my power to do it. So, yeah, so basically, I was saying about I was playing tricks with money. So, paid the Apple card because that was due on the 31st. So, that payment went through. And then I switched over the Xfinity Mobile in my State Farm over to that. So, the money I put on it pays that. <sighs> yeah. Pay Peter, to, you know, steal from Peter, pay Paul type of thing. But. And now I'm getting notices that I didn't pay the, the Comcast bill. Could have swore I paid that, but apparently I have until November 16th before they disconnect service. So, and I'm not sure if that's actually required to have with Xfinity Mobile to have the Comcast internet, but find out. Every time I try to film down here, someone's driving by. I love that one. I think that's, I don't know what kind of tree that is, but it's definitely a tree, not a bush or not a weed. <laughs> looking at the mountain out, out in front of us here slowly well not the mountain but those trees over there they're looking good the mountain eh. the higher elevation seems like the wind's gotten them so. yeah so we were when we drove by yesterday this is actually going to be a dollar general market not just a regular dollar general so terry did some research apparently they're going to have more like fresh produce and stuff in there so we'll definitely be making a uh, stop in and investigate what it is. I asked him, he says they have one down in Watson Town where he's at. And he says it feels like they're much pricier than a standard Dollar General. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really go into them very much. But, uh, but we'll check it out. I mean, it's, you know, I can walk down and go get us a loaf of bread or, you know, depending what kind of produce they have, you know grab us something so we can if we're low on something instead of having to get in the car drive all the way down to Aldi's that whole whopping three miles <laughs> but it's I mean even if you pay a teeny bit more in there you're not using the car so it will be convenient and I want to see dum dum over here yell at me for walking through the parking lot to go to the store you know I really thought I was a couple last time I went over there I was waiting for someone to come out and ask me what the hell I was doing I'm always, I'm gun shy. I watch too many of these uh, police audit videos and, you know, the confrontations. But I think a lot of the auditors, they do it on purpose to get a reaction. So I did watch one where the cop literally, he was called. He walked over. He goes, you're not doing anything wrong. I don't need your ID. I don't, you know, and basically he did it the right way. He didn't, you know, interrogate the journalist. I mean, I don't know if vlogging can be considered journalism in a way, but I mean, if I'm f not interfering, they really have no, from what I understand, no right to say anything. Really, big girl? Is that where you decided to go poop? All right. Got a boom boom. <laughs> All right, I got the sun in the right angle for this one today. 
got the color. Because every time I tried to shoot that one the other day, I was the sun was kind of further over. Messed me up quite a bit. And this side we get quite often. The sun was right for this side and it still is for right now. Such a pretty tree. Still has most of his leaves. I feel lighter for you. Jeez, my goodness. So I feel better. I feel much better. Sometimes dropping a deuce always makes things better the other day, doesn't it, Probably Here's your Josh. <laughs> Just, don't make fun of me. I'm a, I'm a happy basset. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> what are you stalking anyway? <laughs> ooh, ooh, we got run time. She's like stalking along and then she piddles. Now she's happy. Now she's a happy girl. Priya, you happy girl? Hey, Priya, you happy girl? She goes, I'm a happy girl. Priya, she's like, I'm not gonna respond to you. You're putting me on camera. What? Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi, baby girl. He's a big baby girl. You, you are not really that big. The raccoon's bigger than you. <laughs> what do you think? Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, get excited. <laughs> she's more animated than little man. Okay, so did the outside of these trees. I'm gonna do the inside and show you what I'm talking about. And these lovely cattails. Might be too close. <clears throat> Come on. And back in the wet grass. I'm gonna have to change my socks for sure. <clears throat> gotta take trash out when we get done. And then I gotta to eat food. She made it eggs. But not, yeah, see right now, that is in my way, kind of filming. If I can get over far enough, there we go. There we go. Beautiful Japanese maple. It was not my intention to take her car tonight, which I don't think I have sunglasses in here again. Oh well, I'll be alright. But uh, we haven't run in a couple days, so I figured better take it and get it a run. Run some maintenance guys down. Get to work! Uh, so... Yeah, I was like, well, do I continue the vlog? Yeah, what the hell. Between 26 and 35 minutes is about average length anymore, so why quit now? And I figured, well, this is going to be the pocket because I'm not going to hold the other one. Nice thing is I'm going into work about the time I normally come home, so the sun should be the right way to film the trees going to work. So we're going to do that. I'm just trying to get as much footage of them as I can before they're gone because it's not going to be long. I don't know if we're going to see anything tomorrow or not. That's like really up in the air. Bring it back down. But uh, yeah, that spot worked out really nice last night. The only problem was I was hearing noises. I'm like, of course, you know, I'm a little paranoid with the whole bear situation. So I'm constantly hearing something. But it sounded like someone was in the buildings and they're all empty on that end and there was no one at the other one so it's probably the air system maybe moving door when the heat would kick on or something i didn't realize it i didn't think it was that cold last night personally i don't know what temperature was when i was doing it i thought it was in the 50s yet it probably was in the mid to low 40s <laughs>
Alrighty, getting ready to get out of here. But the one thing I cannot do with this car while it's in motion as a safety thing is program my phone to the Bluetooth. So, let's see if I can remember how to do this one. There we go, Bluetooth audio setup. I did have my other phone in here. Pair audio player. Otherwise, it wasn't too bad of a night. Um, I don't know, some things keep changing around here. So it's Osmo Pocket 3. Uh, pause. Memory full. Okay. Delete audio player. Can only hold one device. This car is really weird. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Pair. Alrighty. Yay, we're connected. Maybe. Main core multimedia. Alright, device type. Core stereo. And we'll see if that works. And now my music app is crashing. Sweet. It does work. Yay. Alrighty. Now we can pause that. Okay. One thing done that I wanted to get done. Oh, now we're going to go home. I don't know if there's any food. But, uh, well, there's still leftover chili from last night. I can always have that. Didn't really didn't I don't know for some reason the chili I, I think it's the chicken I don't think I think the ground beef has different flavors in the meat and uh, yeah the chicken's just not quite cutting it to make the flavor it's kind of bland if you ask me but two we're not really using um, enough chili powder I don't think either she didn't like it spicy so whatever uh, I can deal with it it is what it is. Oh, oh! I gotta get the vlog exported, uploaded. No, exported, uploaded. Wait, release something. I'm not sure if it's exported, uploaded, and I just gotta release it. I don't think it is. I think I started ex started exporting it a second time because I forgot to drag the logos all the way across. So it had to re-render the entire video, which took forever. So it is exported, got to upload it, and then release it. So I'm not going to bed right away. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to call it a night. I'd probably take puppies out maybe for a pee, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. But uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to Pennsylvania Grand Canyon and doing at least one trail, maybe two. We'll find out. We're going to Tim coming along and uh, another fun adventure. Catch you in the morning. Have a good night. Stay safe. It's a good puppy. Good puppy. Good potties. She does not like to go out back here. I know. I said good night already, but Priya. Got to show Priya. Yeah, damn squirrels were in my backyard setting the alarm, setting the freaking camera off. I had to disarm it because it was going off like 30 videos in a matter of, I don't know, 10 minutes. They kept playing back here, so. All right, ready, princess? Ready to go night, 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 night time. Say good night, internet. Good night.